Today I'm going to show you three methods for color grading in Premiere Pro so that you can achieve the cinematic look in your editing. And honestly, I have a feeling that you're going to love this one. And before we jump in, I just want to remind you about this amazing platform called Envato Elements, where you can get unlimited downloads for stock photos, videos, music, sound effects, 3D elements and more. You have millions of creative digital assets you can choose from with simple commercial licensing and you can cancel anytime. Subscribe now with the link in the description. Okay, so the first method that I like to use sometimes involves, for the most part, the curves panel from the Lumetri color. As you will see in this tutorial, all footage was already color corrected, so now I can apply some color grading to it to create a specific mood. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. If I want, I can rename it to grading, but this is optional, of course. And then I'm going to drag this adjustment layer on top of the footage. All the color grading effects will be applied to this layer, just to keep things more simple. If you don't see the Lumetri color, you can activate it from the window menu right here. And the first panel that I'm going to use is the curves panel. I'm going to try to create the very popular orange and teal look. So let's add some blue tones first onto the footage. I choose the blue channel, create a point in the midtones and raise it up to add some blue color. Then I select the red channel and bring the midtones down. This will insert some green into the image as well because the opposite of red is green. You can also check out any color wheel on the web like the one from color.adobe.com. This will help you understand complementary colors. Okay, so I inserted some blue and some green and now I have this teal look. But now there's a problem because I lost the natural skin tone. So I need to bring them back somehow and I'm going to do this with the help of the HSL secondary panel. I'm going to go up here to this drop down and choose add Lumetri color effect. And then just to keep things clean, I can rename the second effect to skin. Now you may ask, why am I separating all these effects? And the answer is simple. The color grading process could be more complex than that sometimes. And there are lots of controls and it's much easier to go and tweak the skin tones, for example, the skin tones only because number one, I renamed the layer so I know exactly what it does. And number two, the effect was exclusively created for the skin tones. So I hope this makes sense. So to continue with this, I make sure the new Lumetri color for skin is selected. And then I go down to HSL, which stands for Hue, Saturation and Luminance. So basically with these three sliders, you can filter and you can select specific tones from your footage and correct them to look natural. How am I going to select the skin tones? It's kind of easy, actually. You just need to take the color picker with this tiny plus sign and then click and drag on the skin. Now you can check this box to see a preview of the selection and you can tweak it even more until you can isolate the skin areas properly. Now it could happen like here, for example, that other parts of the image have the same tones and they will be selected as well. It's not a huge problem, but do your best to select only the skin tones as much as possible. Add some denoise with this slider and some blur to make the selection smoother. Now I'm going to take a look at the Lumetri scopes panel, especially at this panel. This is called the vector scope YUV. And this, my friends, is called the flesh line. So as you can see right now, the colors are more towards the red and magenta. We need to bring them back towards the flesh line area. You can either do it by dragging a point from this wheel and constantly checking what you're doing on the scopes, or what I like to do is to use the temperature and thin sliders to correct the skin tones. Now we are back to normal, as you can see on the vector scope. The majority of the tones are very close or on the flash line. So let's uncheck this preview box and let me show you a before and after the skin correction. This is the before and this is the after. Major, major difference. The next step is a trick used by professionals when color grading, and that is to avoid having colors in very dark and very bright areas. So if I zoom in and take a look here, you can see that the blue tones affected the very dark areas of the image. To solve this, I'm going to add a new Lumetri color effect from this drop down. I rename it to blacks and whites and then go to the curves panel, scroll down to Luma versus saturation. I create a point here and then drag down the saturation for the dark areas and then the same thing here at a point and drag the saturation down for the bright parts. So let's see a before you can see in the dark areas that we have a blue cast and this is the after the blue cast is gone and hopefully you can see the difference also when I zoom out before and after. It's very subtle but it looks more professional. So this is how we started a very good cinematic footage in slow motion 
and this is with the color grading. Speaking of great cinematic stock videos, Envato Elements provides at this point more than one and a half million stock videos you can choose from for your personal or client projects, and this library grows every single week. Whether you need B-roll for running, for fitness, or work from home, you name it, you will probably find it on Envato Elements. Method number two for color grading in Premiere Pro is to use a combination between the color wheels and the curves panels. In this case, we have an older motorbike, clouds in the sky, also the guy is wearing a nice vintage jacket, so let's create a vintage color grading for the scene. Let's start with the color wheels. For the shadows, I want to go towards the orange-brown look. Let's bring the mid-tones to a more greenish area, and also maybe increase the brightness a bit. For the highlights, I will choose a point in the blue area because that's complementary to the shadows where I used orange and then lower the brightness of the highlights. You can see already a big change in the before and after only by tweaking some colors using the wheels here, but we can do more than that using the curves panels. For example, I want to shift the color of the grass from green to a more yellow look. So I come down to hue versus hue, take the eyedropper, click on the grass and instantly three points were added here. I take the middle one and raise it to push the colors towards yellow. I can also add points manually in the same areas on the hue versus sat panel and increase the saturation of the grass. And I will do the same for the clouds and saturate their color a bit more and then push it towards the aqua color using the hue versus hue panel. Another thing that I want to add is to use the curves graph to lift the blacks and crush the highlights. Let me zoom in on the footage to show you a before and after doing this. You can see that we start to lose details in the shadows and the same thing happens in the highlights and this effect adds even more to the vintage look that I'm looking for. All right, let's go down here and add a vignette. I think minus 0.3 is perfect for this shot. And the final step that I want to do is to add a new Lumetri color effect, rename it to blacks and whites and the first one to grading and I will do the same thing like on the previous example where I protect the darkest and brightest areas by desaturating them using the Luma versus Sat panel. Now, you can probably see this small difference here on YouTube, but my recommendation is to try it for yourself and I'm sure you will notice the difference. So let's see how we started. What a great shot from the start, but with this color grading, I think it turned out even better by adding that vintage look. Method number three is to color grade with LUTs, which are basically like presets. Envato Elements has some great LUT packs, like the Banks at California pack that works for both Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. And another example could be this pack called Titanium Moody LUT pack, compatible with After Effects, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. And there are lots of similar packs here on the platform. So if you think this is real value for you, Use the link in the description to subscribe to Envato Elements and have access to all of these. In this pack, for example, you'll find 20 different LUTs that you can use in Premiere Pro using two ways. Number one, you just copy and paste all the files in the LUTs folder depending on your operating system, just like you see on the screen. Or number two, by opening the Creative tab from Lumetri Color, from this dropdown, click Browse, navigate to the LUTs folder on your hard drive, select the one that you like and Look at that, a cinematic look obtained very fast. If you think the effect is too intense, you can move this slider to lower its opacity. You can also come into the basic correction panel and tweak the settings even more if you want. So here is the before, this is how we started, and this is the after. It's good to keep in mind that before the color grading, you actually need to color correct your clips. So click on the end card on the screen to watch that very useful tutorial. I'm Christy, make sure you press the thumbs up if this tutorial helped you and tell me in the comments which was your favorite method, number one, two or three.